Are you currently using the fastest browser that there is? Are you getting the best internet experience? And if you're not, could it be your browser's fault? Now, I know what you're thinking. Nah, a browser is just a browser. How much of a difference could it be if you take one browser and replace it with another? Well, that's what I thought too. So that's why I'm going to put in Chrome versus Firefox versus Microsoft Edge versus Brave, the new browser on the block. Will running different browsers really make a difference to our internet experience? Well, the results are pretty surprising. Let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadget and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. Okay, so before we start, a couple of things to try avoid some of that moaning moaning in the comments. The first is, yes, I am aware that there are other web browsers out there. I couldn't test them all. So this is the first video. There may be more after this. The second thing is, I cannot control an environment outside of my environment. But remember, this is a regular test, a regular person like you and I going to a website at any time of day, we expect to see results. We're not under lab type of conditions. And then thirdly, the way these tests actually run is that I open up a website and then I start the timer. I stop the timer when the website loads. Now look, my software does give me those start and stop time, but it's not going to be absolutely perfect. There might be fractions of a second between the various timing. The idea is just to get an overall feel. Is one web browser definitely faster than another web browser? Are you running the fastest browser that there is? Well, let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna run three tests. The first is a regular website. The second is a text only website. And the third is a website that automatically logs you in. And everything will be summarized in a nice graph at the end to crown a winner. Okay, so let's get started. Here are the four browsers. And what I did before running each of these tests is I ran a command called ipconfig forward slash flush DNS. That gets rid of any DNS entries that were previously cached on my computer. Next up, I went to each browser and I cleared the cache. Again, I just want to make sure each browser has a fair shot at getting this right so everyone starts from equal footing. Right, now that I've done that, let's begin with the first test. Right, test number one. Let's head off to my website, thetechieguy.com. And the reason I chose the site is obviously because I know the scripts that get run here. I know how many ads get served. I know how many things are supposed to load up on the home page. This essentially mimics like most other websites that we encounter out there, giving us a nice indicator of what the various browsers would react. How long does it take to load each page? Now, remember, all these details will be summarized at the end, so you don't have to worry about the little details. Watch the browsers go past a couple of seconds later, and let's move on to the next test. Right, next up is a completely different test. This is Wikipedia. And the reason I chose this particular website, because there are no ads. Essentially, it's text only. You click the magnifying glass, you search for what you're looking for, and then essentially the information just loads up. So a nice difference indicator showing you how quick the browsers can actually be when there's very, very little activity happening on the website. Is there a difference between the browsers? Yes, there still is. <laughs> Next up, we've chosen Netflix.com. And the reason I've chosen this particular website is because it allows me to automatically log in. So there's an additional step that happens. And the idea with this, again, is to simulate the various types of website that we encounter out there. The first one, like the techieguy.com, is just a regular website, lots of articles, lots of ads. The second one is text only. And this one is automatically logs you into a website. All right, drum roll, please. So in number four, who did you have your money on? Well, was it Chrome? Uh? Number three is Edge. Number two is Brave. And number one is still Firefox. So I did not see that coming, to be honest. But look, those load times when it comes to my website, when it comes to Netflix, it takes quite a few more seconds than everything else to load. Look how fast Firefox actually is. So I know some of you will be thinking, hold on, your Chrome is nice and fast. But the question is, when was the last time you tested it against another browser? 
Just a quick favor, if you made it this far, please put in the comments, I watch till the end. That will be absolutely epic of you. And if you like this video, watch more of these videos down here. Check out more Wi-Fi tips and tricks. Hit the head below to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in these videos. Don't forget to comment. See you in these videos.